Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I wanted to do a brief guide about how to use the Issue Council and some stuff on disconnection codes as well. Testing Star Citizen and reporting bugs on the Issue Council is an important part of the Alpha. Participation will get you earlier access into PTU or Public Test Universe builds, but also help in the development of the game. But please remember the Issue Council is for bugs and not for balance problems. There are appropriate threads about uh, balance and game mechanics on the forums. Issue Council. So you can find the Issue Council in the Community Issue Council section on the RSI website in the top right. Uh, it's worth taking the tour, but let's kind of quickly walk you through that tour. Um, each um, issue has three stages. Contribute. This way you can create reports or, or add to reports that have already been found. Prioritize. This is literally um, reports that have kind of been confirmed. Uh, you can vote them up or vote them down in the priority queue, effectively getting them fixed faster if you think they're more important. And resolve. Uh, reports will be, then be acknowledged, fixed or invalid based on uh, what's found. Create a report. To create a report you must be signed in to the RSI website and have access to a game package on that account. Choose if you want to report an issue with game, website, or eventually Spectrum, uh, or any other sections that appear here, uh, by clicking on the appropriate section. And again, this is in robertspaceindustries.com forward slash community forward slash issue dash council. Links to all of this that we're discussing in the description below. To create that report, click on add report, the button that appears in the top right above the listing inside each module. Choose a concise title for your bug that describes it at a glance, such as disappearing weapons star marine. The system will do a quick check to see if there are any similar bugs and will appear with bugs that it thinks are similar. If you believe that the, your bug has already then been discovered, you can click on that and contribute your experience of that bug. Um, you can basically add to it so that it will help other people show, say that you can reproduce it, that sort of stuff. If, however, your bug is unique and undiscovered, continue with your report. Whether you're contributing to an existing report or adding a new one, you'll need to set up a computer profile or specifications. Um, the left panel here contains the required base fields that measure your computer's performance, fill them out as best to your knowledge. You'll also need to upload your DX Diag. Um, hold down the Windows key to grab this and press R. Um, enter DXDI. A G uh, in the open text field and click OK, or one word obviously. Um, wait for the text file to be generated, then click save all information, save that file to your computer, and then upload that file to the issue council computer profile. Completing this page is only required once, and then it's on your account for all future issue council stuff. Obviously your hardware um, if that changes, then clearing this data and adding it again is advised. Now enter your issues details as well as the steps you would take to repeat the bug. Nice and simply so that someone else can basically copy what you've done. It's important to take your time, enter as many details as possible while remaining factual and precise. The easier it is for others to reproduce the issue to get the same results, the same bug, the more successful effectively your issue report will be. Be concise and accurate. Your goal here is for others to understand the issue and be able to repeat it themselves if possible. Contribute to existing reports. As I said earlier, you can contribute to existing reports by clicking the contribute button at the top of the uh, issue council and um, going to the particular bug that you wish to contribute to. If you feel a report is valid, attempt to re reproduce uh, the issue, then describe your findings and add relevant media evidence if possible. Prioritize. Once an issue has been confirmed by the community, it can then be prioritized. You can literally up and down vote it um, based on whether you want it to get fixed sooner than other problems. Um, simple as that. Uh, all this stuff is important to the development of Star Citizen. CIG and the developers are always looking out for new high priority issues. Once they are satisfied that a report is as complete as possible and the community have voiced their opinion, the devs will acknowledge the report and import it into their internal tracking system. When the build containing the fix is launched, the issue report will be set to fixed. And um, so you can kind of track these bugs and issues and see when they actually get fixed and if you are actually having much of a input on the game. Um, and that's kind of the basics of the issue council. PTU builds or public test universe builds go out in waves. The wave you are in is based on your participation on the Issue Council and also 
people that are very active do get the chance to become either Carty members, which is invite by CIG only. They will basically email you. You don't have to do anything else here. Um, it, this is all automated based on your participation. Uh, not discovering bugs necessarily, but contributing, prioritizing, all of that is participation. Uh, although discovering bugs is also a big part of that. Code 10,000 happens when the game client isn't able to find us due to something preventing the game client from being able to find our servers. These will almost always be a client side issue. Code 10,001 happens when the game client is having issues connecting to the authentication service. Code 10,003 occurs when the game client connects to the authentication service, but has corrupted persistent data cache, uh, or is unable to reach the database to get its persistent data. Code 20,005 and 30,005 happen when a login attempt fails due to invalid data. Many of these can be fixed by doing launcher troubleshooting, such as ensuring the game folder has uh, read-write permissions, and running the launcher as admin to generate new login information, as well as deleting your user folder. Code 20,000 and 30,000 is our general timeout message. You'll get this message when connection to the game server times out, but you're still um, uh, connected to the backend platform. Um, it, in almost all cases, this is due to an actual game server crash or an issue within the game that can disconnect you. An internal example of the latter occurred on our QA environment. This never made it to public when one client would exit the game and all other clients would be forcibly disconnected. Code 20,003 and code 30,003 is a version mismatch, mismatch or mishmash, uh, which occurs when the server checks for the version of the game installed and finds that there's an older version of the client. The easy way to resolve this is to verify files or in some rare situations, fully reinstall the game. Code 20,004 and 30,004 is our matchmaking service, contains several different rules assigned to clients and servers. This response occurs when the matchmaking service puts someone into a server that is full. In most situations, the service should not assign you to a server that is already full, but uh, we're finding edge cases where this gets returned uh, and we'll continue to isolate, identify and fix these as they come up. Code 20,007 and 30,007 occur when the game client receives information that it wasn't expecting. A good example is when a bad asset in game exists, such as when we discover that cutlasses were disconnecting all clients on the internal QA server because of an invalid ID. Code 20,008 and 30,008 is defined as an authentication error. This infrequently can mean authentication in terms of your account ID and password, but for the most part indicates a back-end data mismatch. Code 20,000 and 30,009 um, occurs when someone successfully connects and authenticates into a game server, but times out when verifying the session. We hope this small insight into codes and errors and all that sort of jazz helps you. Um, so basically that was uh, various disconnection codes and that sort of stuff. Use them if you get them uh, in your bug reporting. I hope that helps explain some bits and bobs. A lot of the uh, basic ways to fix some of those disconnection errors are to um, verify your files, delete your user folder, that sort of stuff. Uh, I will put a link to a variety of different resources that I've created on uh, bugs and how to fix them, but also how to get a significantly better performance in Star Citizen. I hope you guys are participating in the Issue Council where appropriate. Remember, commenting on any of my videos uh, during each month gives you a chance to win a ship. Uh, for January, for example, it's a chance to win an Avenger Titan. Um, so just comment, tell me what you think about Star Citizen. Are you participating in the Issue Council? Is it something you will be participating in the future? Do you not really care? Do you participate on balance threads on the forums instead? What, what's your what's your poison for that sort of stuff? Please tell me. Um, or if you're just interested in playing the game, that's a totally legitimate thing as well. I enjoy this process um, in, in game, but uh, not everyone does. So please tell me what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well, as it genuinely does help me. And I'll see you in the verse.